Oh, my hand. The, get my hands stuck on the inside. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Erica. I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soapery and today we're going to make something other than soap. Yeah, I know it's a soaping channel, but hey, you know, my hyper fixation got me stuck on this whole freshie thing. So now we're going to make freshies. Isn't that exciting? So these are very easy to make. Um, it is a little time consuming because you have to let the beads cure in fragrance oil for a little bit in a jar. You know, you really have to plan ahead with uh, making freshies. Um, once you get the hang of making freshies, you'll always have scented beads in stock and you know, you'll see. Making freshies, there's a bunch of different ways to make them. Um, I've done a lot of research and I've tried quite a few different ways the way I like to make them is to cure my beads first without any color it makes it a lot easier to kind of do like an ombre or multicolored looking freshie i just find it much more easier to do it this way versus getting locked down to one scent one color in a jar blah 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 so anyways there are a lot of companies out there that sell the freshie beads that you see in this jar i bought mine from bite ship it i'll leave a link in the description box below they're the best beads i have found so far over the past year because of the whole covid thing uh suppliers have run low suppliers have changed the shape of their beads so on and so forth um as you can see here as of this video i had like more rounded beads but i think they started selling more like coffee bean looking beans <laughs> yeah but either way they're good. I like them. This one is fully cured. This one's been sitting in the jar since 11-8, so I know they're good to go. Curing beads in a jar, it can take um, anywhere from like three days to maybe two weeks for the, the fragrance oil to fully absorb into the beads. It just depends on the beads and the fragrance oil and the ratio that you use. As you can see here, I use an eight to one ratio so basically this is eight ounces of beads to one ounce of fragrance oil or you want to make a bigger batch 16 ounces of beads to two ounces and so on and so forth so today i want to show you how to make a freshie with glitter and cardstock and how to place the little eyelet into the freshie so right now i have my oven th preheating to 350 degrees i like to bake my freshies for I want to say about eight minutes i kind of peek at them around the six minute mark to see if they've you know started to like i don't know become more clear and which means they kind of really melted and that's the time you kind of pull them out so we'll get to that later things that you will need to make brushes you will need obviously your cured beads micas obviously i'm going to use my mad micas i'm going to use the manacle p today and I'm going to use radioactive. Just a touch of radioactive. I really want this to stand out, but I want it to pop a little bit more. You're going to need a mold. I actually prefer using silicone molds. The pineapple that I showed you here was used make, uh, was made using a cookie cutter. It's very tricky using a cookie cutter because if you let it cook just too long, it's going to melt and seep out on, uh, out from underneath the cookie cutter and it just kind of looks all messy on the edges. So right now, honestly, I'm in the process of getting rid of my cookie cutters and just going to silicone molds. You're going to need a baking sheet completely dedicated to making freshies. Once you use anything for crafting, it is officially dedicated to that craft. And this was a nice pan too, look at that. That's okay, I can just buy another one. You're going to need a mixing bowl. This is where you're going to pour your beads in and mix up the color. This process makes it real, it, it's just really easy. You're going to need isopropyl alcohol to mist the mica onto the beads. And then some popsicle sticks if you, if you have them. I really don't like using this because it's a single use item. I have stir sticks, but I ended up using them for a resin project and I don't have any more. <laughs> so I have to go and order more for this project. I think that's it. So you obviously need an oven and, oh, and your cardstock. I almost forgot the most important part. You can't, I mean, you can make a freshie without cardstock, but still. So 
here are a bunch that I've made. I bought the designs and then I took them into my silhouette program, merged them into a circle, and then sent it to my sill and had, had my silhouette cut it out. Uh, the, you can get a hole punch to punch these out, but if you're comfortable with making these and you're doing really good and making money, I suggest investing in a vinyl plotter. It doesn't have to be silhouette, it can be a Cricut. I just say silhouette because I've, using, I've been using a silhouette for, I'm gonna show my age here, I think 13 years. How old is my daughter? No, I'm sorry. I take that back. I'm not that old. Uh, <laughs> um, I think eight years. Yes, eight years. That sounds that sounds more like it. But I'm very skilled in the program and how to design. So, well, with all that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cured beads. And this one I'm using Green Apple from Nature's Garden. And it's, wait, I'm sorry, Green Apple Explosion from Nature's Garden. And it's such a good, not overly sweet apple scent, but it has that slight tartness to it. Like Granny Smith apple. My faves, especially with caramel or caramel. However you guys want to say it. How do you say it? How do you say caramel? You say caramel or you say caramel? I think I'm saying it wrong when I say caramel. There is another letter in there. It's caramel. I cannot get the lid off of here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Huzzah! I got it open. So these you obviously want to be careful because <laughs> they for some reason grow legs and start to spring out and then they jump everywhere and then you know you're walking around barefoot and all of a sudden you step on one of these beads it's not comfortable not comfortable so you can um weigh out the beads that's supposed to go in the molds i'm not worried about it and i'll show you what i do with the other the leftover beads that i put mica on That looks about good. Actually, let's do a double batch. And there we go. So there's your beads. So since this is gonna be a one color freshie, I'm just gonna obviously mix it all in one little bit. I always get messy with these micas. So I want more manacle P than neon green. I don't want it like blinding people while they drive. So, and a little bit goes a long way. You see that? That's just it. There you go. Now you can always add more. And you can technically take away by adding more beads, but it's gonna end up like a pancake kind of thing where you add more beads and you add more mica until you get the right color. And then you may like, you know, a hundred freshies by accident. <laughs> My family has no issues with me making 100 pancakes for breakfast they love them so i want less neon than mica we're going to start with that and you want very little you really don't want a lot of mica or the beads really don't stick really well and you have to cook them and they get overcooked and they look you'll see so i'm literally just gonna get a couple good spritz and then you shake. Um, you can actually use a stir stick. Make sure you get that clump. Any clumps out of there. Keep stirring. So I really like the translucent look. I could put a little bit more mica in there, but I don't want to. I really like this look. Oops, see, there it goes. Make sure you get all the corners. And have fun with this. Um, I coincidentally made it green. I could have made it teal, purple, whatever. It doesn't have to really like match the scent per se I'm 
I find myself a lot of times when I'm trying to match the scent, the color to the scent, and it just, I don't know. That's just how my brain works. Okay. So that's pretty much it. They're nice and going to be nice and colorful. And yeah, let me grab some glitter and I'll put glitter on the bottom of this mold. So for this mold, I'm going to use baby mermaid tail from ab design co this is my girl down in largo florida i have a discount code for y'all if you want to go and get yourself some beautiful glitter this one has a good like blue teal to green shift to it and it's, this is going to be so pretty and let's see i think we're going to go with this one and ooh, the yellow would be really pretty wouldn't it maybe this one these two designs. And I picked out another glitter, however, the company I don't think no, lo no longer exists. So there's the glitter. How cute would that be? With this one, that's so adorable. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is I can get these out of here because we're only gonna do two. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna wait until to put the cardstock on. First, you're gonna put the glitter down and you don't need too much. And this is when things get very messy for me because glitter ends up everywhere. All right. So now that the glitter is in there, where you can pour, it into, pour the beads in. Now the rubbing alcohol doesn't have to be dry because it's obviously going to dry in the oven. Oh, and if you're wondering where I got this mold, I got it off of Amazon. It was one whole piece and it was just too much for me to bake at once. So I just went ahead and cut them all up. Makes it so much easier. So I don't fill mine up all the way. I leave mine just like an eighth of an inch from the top. Makes it thinner. And honestly, I prefer it like that. I like the thinner freshies. I feel like you don't really get to, you know, the scent that's in the center of the fresh it, you really never get to smell it because it's baked in. So it's like, why waste it? That's just my opinion. You make them as thick as you want. You just have to bake them a little longer. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven and put them in there for about eight to 10 minutes, check on them every so often, and yeah, I'll bring it back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes and they are super fresh out of the oven pans hot these are hot oh keep my hands nice and toasty on a cold winter day who am i kidding it's florida anyways so you're gonna want to check and kind of check the center and press lightly with them because you don't want to jab it in there like you're chestnutting a cake because it gets all stuck to this don't ask me how i figure that out i'm just saying um so but you're gonna want to go around the edge and kind of smush down the the edges here so you just kind of want to go in there and smush that down and you want to be pretty quick because with the silicone molds they cool down really fast so let's go in there don't be afraid to push it down you don't have to do this step like you can go in and if it bothers you you can just go and trim those down or just leave them. They are, I mean, they kind of look cool. Like little stuck teardrops or something. All right, let me go, let me get, uh, let me finish this up and I'll bring you guys back. So now they're cooled down to the touch and they're all solid. And can you see how they still have the texture right here? That's what you want. Now, don't get me wrong. If it's like very melted here, you can fix that. 
by just getting it like super melty and then adding a few extra beads. Which is why it's good to always make a little extra. Pour a little bit of extra, just like a thin layer of beads on top. Slightly melt it or just let the heat from the freshie melt the other beads to the freshie. And then you get the texture look again. Anyways, let's unmold these. You wanna pull, and this is another reason why I cut my mold is because it makes doing this, pulling and stretching the mold a lot easier. So I'm just gonna pop it right out. Sometimes they get a little tricky to pop out. There, I don't know if you can see the glitter. But it's on there and it's super cute. It's just, just a little bit. I love the look of just a little bit. So now you have your just your freshie. You can leave it like this. Pop a hole in it, put a string through it, and it's done. Or you can add your cute little cardstock. So now you can see what I mean by trying to concentrate on the edge of the uh, mold when you put the glitter in, just because your design um, covers up most of it. So I know that my mold is a three inch circle mold and I made my designs two and a half inches. So you kind of have this quarter inch, you know, distance on it. I want to have more design than freshy, but I still like the little bling. Ooh, can you see the green color in this one? It's super pretty. I wish it was just a little bit more chunkier. Um, I believe that company does have a chunkier version of this. I just don't have it in my collection. And then, love you to the beach and back. So, here's a pro tip. And I love doing this. So, see how this is not attached? Guess what? You can take a picture like this of the freshie, use temporary glue on the cardstock, you know, hang it up, you know, take the listing photo, then you can pop that off, put another design on there, and bam, you have another listing. So I'm going to clean up a little bit, and we'll be on to the next step. So now that the freshies are cooled down and they're out of the mold, we're gonna pop a hole into the freshie so we can hang our little eyelets. I like to use these. This is the Everbelt number 212 eyelet screws. They're sturdy. Let's see, they're zinc plated. There's a hundred of them and I think it was only like a couple bucks for a hundred of them. Um, I like the threaded, uh, the threads on here because once it goes into the fresh, it kind of has, and the fresh has cooled down, it gives the, 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 the beads or whatever, something to grip onto. So while the freshies were in the oven, I went ahead and uh, turned on my soldering iron. This first burst, let me just get this. This is really hot. Don't touch that. You can burn yourself. It's really hot. I can't stress that it's hot. It is hot. It is hot. So be very careful. That's why I left the pan here on the table. That way I have somewhere to rest it when I need to put it down. So I actually got this from the flea market. It was $3. You can't beat that. So what you're gonna wanna do, and this is another reason why I didn't put the cardstock on here, is because I can pop the hole and then line up the design much easier than I can do with the hole and have the design the hole. You know, you know what I mean, anyways. So let's get this over here. So I'm gonna to try to show you. I'm gonna to try to look and get it in, in the center as much as possible. And you're literally just gonna let it melt the freshie. Put this down. You gotta kinda of work quickly because you want it to cool down with the eyelet in there. See? 
And it's really important that you make sure it you 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 make the hole straight. If not, it's gonna look it's gonna be like like weird hanging from the rear view mirror. I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna show you again on the other freshie. Go straight down. You wanna make the hole deeper than the screw. If it's a little off, not a big deal. You know what, if you've watched my videos before, you know I always say, don't sweat the small stuff. It's not worth it. I have a slight OCD. The opening to the hook, the opening to the hook have to face the same way on every freshie. And I consider, a lot of people consider this side the front side. A lot of people consider this side the front side. Uh, I, I like both. I like this side more. That's why I cover this side. If that makes sense, I hope it makes sense. It makes sense to me. So. Okay, so now that we got the hooks and everything on, we're going to want to spray the cardstock with this stuff or any other spray adhesive. Um, this one says temporary or permanent bond. I like, I like this um, particular brand, but there's many others. I know Gorilla Glue, I think has a, a, a spray adhesive. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, like, I'm very ADHD, so I started seeing something shiny in the back room, like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna spray my cardstock. Okay, so I sprayed it and it's still a little damp. So now I'm gonna center the design on my freshie, make sure it's upright. It's a little tricky doing it that way. Let's see. And then, boom. Look at that. Get a good close look at how beautiful that freshie is. Sit. With this brand, you have to kind of like, grr, <laughs> pat it down pretty good. Um, sometimes I just kind of leave it like, that and just leave it for like a day and let it kind of really adhere to the freshie. I really, my hands all sticky and I'm like, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> um, because like a fool, I didn't wear gloves and now it's on my hand. Um, so yeah, just kind of leave it like that for a couple days. So it, it, it becomes a permanent bond and yeah, so let's do that one more time. This time I'm going to put gloves on or a glove. Worst feeling in the world is glue on the hands. Except for when I was a kid and I put Elmer's glue on my hand and peeled it off. That was so much fun. So anyways, give this a good little spritz. And then we're going to move this out of the way before I burn myself. And Center it as best as you can. There we go. All nice and beautiful for the beach. Oh, I can't wait to hang this one up in my Jeep. Ha ha, this is gonna be so cool. And yeah. Oh, my hand. The, get my hands stuck on the inside. <laughs> so, appreciate you all watching. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me today while I didn't burn myself, which is an awesome thing. I'm going to make myself a little badge for today. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I guess that's obvious. <laughs> um, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and if you're brave enough, you can find me on TikTok too. Appreciate you watching and see you later.